and these problems we're solving um, functions that are not quadratic polynomials as they're written but could become quadratic polynomials if we were to make a correct substitution. So in this case, um, if in this problem instead of x to the one-third I use the letter u, then notice that it'll follow that u squared, u squared should be u times u, but u is x to the one-third, so x to the one-third times x to the one-third is x to the two-thirds. And when you multiply two powers of x, the powers just add together. So x to the one-third times x to the one-third is x to the two-thirds. So if this part of the equation is replaced with the letter u, then with that same definition of u, this guy is really u squared. So the equation becomes 4u squared minus 31u minus 8 equals 0, and so this is a quadratic, and it already has the equal 0 on that side, so I can try factoring. Factoring is always good if it works. And uh, the 4 and the 8 here multiply together to be negative 32, so two numbers whose product is negative 32 but have a sum of negative 31 would just be negative 32 and 1. So if I put a 4u here, and a minus 8 here, then my outer in foil will be negative 32u, and then I can put a plus 1 and a u here, and the inner will be positive 1. So I have my outer plus inner equals negative 31u. So uh, for this to work, the solutions of this equation will be wherever 4u plus 1 is 0, or wherever u minus 8 is 0, and so this thing happens when u is negative one-fourth and this guy happens when u is eight and so that's all great think is a solution in terms of u but the original equation had x's in it so I want my, my answer to be in terms of x so all I need to do is substitute back so instead of u being equal to negative four-thirds it should be x to the one-third equals negative four one-fourth and instead of u equals 8, it's the same thing as saying x to the one-third equals 8. So I'm going back and replacing the u with x to the one-third in these equations. So uh, the number that will make this true, I can find by just cubing both sides, raising both sides to the third power. So if I do that, x will be this thing cubed. So if you multiply negative one-fourth times negative one-fourth times negative one-fourth, you get negative 1 64th. And if you multiply 8 times 8 times 8, you get 512. So those are my two solutions to this equation.